Hey guys, welcome back to a song or story a day. It's me, a song or story a day. Now, this is going to be a slightly different video than usual because it's not exactly a song or a story, but you know I can claim it's a story so that it fits in line with the, you know, the criteria that I've set. You know, that I tell a song or story a day. Now, if you look in the back here, what is that? It kind of looks like a snail, um, but it's not, and it kind of looks like a spiral. And it sort of is, but it isn't. You know what it is? That is a black hole. A black hole of anguish and misery, and that's what this video is going to be about today, just to spite my friend, who is not even meters away from me right now. All right? He tells me that I can't be miserable and sad, and I should be braggadocious and positive. But you know what? Sometimes life is just a big, black, swirling ball of sadness and darkness, and that's what today's story is about. All right? And you know what that story is? The story of my life. The story of my life is that picture back there, all right? It's a perfectly great blank canvas. It's a whiteboard, and I've decided to draw a big black swirling ball of misery. But you know what? That's my right. And even though I recognize I'm the one who's putting pen to paper, and I'm the one who's drawing that, sometimes it's just how you feel. And, you know, I look back at my life a lot, and I think about times where maybe I haven't felt I don't know maybe the way that I felt about things didn't quite match up with reality and I mean what do you do about things like that right I mean what do you do when the feelings you feel uh, maybe aren't quite I don't know if right's the right word you know because you can't really help but feel how you feel and certainly there are a lot of times in my life where I felt probably better than I should have and I've given some examples of that you know, I've told you guys in the past where I f basically failed a, a big assignment and my reaction was to high five my friend because I barely passed. Um, that's that's I don't know if that's the right attitude to take towards things. And maybe similarly, there are times where I've been sadder when I really should have been a bit more happy about the situation. But, you know, feelings are sometimes hard to read, sometimes hard to disentangle. But nonetheless, they come from some true part of us. I, at least that's what I think. So my friend tells me I should be a bit more positive, that I should you know, focus on the good things that are going on in my life. But you know, right now there's a part of me, and I'd say it's a, a decent chunk of me that's focused a bit more on the negative. And maybe that's not the healthiest thing to do, but you know, sometimes eating ice cream is not healthy either, but we eat ice cream now and then too. So this is some sort of emotional ice cream, but instead of pleasure, it's just awful. So it's like not even eating good ice cream, you know? It's like eating like, have you ever had vegan ice cream? That's the story I'll tell you today, all right? I had vegan ice cream once, and I'm gonna tell you this story, and that's gonna be the story for today, because that's where we're going, all right? So nearby where I live, uh, there's like this chain of outlets that open, and it's, I just realized this whole video might've been a lot more quiet than the other ones, but now it's gonna be suddenly very loud. So if you've changed your headphones, if you've made the volume louder, well, you're going to be deaf now because this is probably literally twice as loud. Okay, so once you've gotten your hearing back, once you've readjusted the, the volume. So there are these chain of outlets that open near my place. And, you know, when it first opened, everyone was very excited to go. So I took a bunch of friends there. And they had this, like, vegan ice cream shop. And it was the only ice cream shop there. I didn't even have any other options. You know, it's all these designer clothes and bags and jackets and anyways. And then there's one vegan ice cream store. And I always get chocolate because I love chocolate. So it's this vegan chocolate made from potatoes. That was the ingredient. Like, instead of dairy, it was potatoes. I don't even know how you can turn potato into ice cream, but they did it. And I mean, it wasn't bad. It didn't taste like a potato. But it also didn't taste like ice cream. And, you know, to be completely honest, maybe I just didn't have enough. Maybe if I had more, I'd like it more. Because it really wasn't that bad. I mean, I, thinking back, it was kind of a fond memory. But I think that's more because it's, like, the unique experience of having, like, a potato ice cream and also just being with friends and all that. Um, yeah, that's, that's my story. I almost stole my friend's girlfriend. That's also a story. <laughs> that was that friend. But you know what? That's... A story for another day. There's a, there's a laugh track in the background. I've, I've decided to up my production values, and I've now added a laugh track. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. But, um, 
yeah so there you go okay there's the promised story a day and if you guys are feeling a bit down out there the one viewer that i have that's also listening to this as i'm recording you know sometimes you just you just gotta remember sometimes life is potato vegan ice cream all right see you guys for now <laughs>